Johnny Depp. The audience may not be aware, but he sued you. He sued mm -hmm. you for reporting you did on the Amber Heard allegations against him. And the audience may remember before he brought his defamation case against her here domestically, he started in the UK and Dan was on the receiving end of that. And there Johnny Depp did not prevail. And then he came over here and he did prevail. And usually it goes the other way because in the UK, it's easier to prove defamation than it is here in the United States, especially when there's a public figure involved. But you, you were in kind of an interesting spot there because, you know, I don't know, maybe some people normally would have expected you to kind of take his side, but you were much more like Amber Heard is brave. And, you know, I stand by my reporting that he was an alleged abuser. And now you say you want to issue an apology to him. Why? Yeah, so it was interesting. The court case in the UK, even though Amber was giving evidence, it was actually me who was being sued. Uh, so she was giving evidence to support our case because she knew if she won here, that would help her case in the US, although that didn't end up happening. Now, I want to be really clear that what I'm about to say is not designed in any way to pile more heartache or difficulties onto Amber Heard. Remember, she didn't want to be in court either, Megan. It was Johnny who decided to take the case against me in the UK and her in the US. But what I do want to do is apologize to Johnny for ever getting involved in the ins and outs of his personal and clearly very mm. toxic relationship. I have now seen, Megan, and we've spoken about it during the first hour, just what can happen when an ex has such an axe to grind, is so actuated by malice, that they will make up terrible things designed to destroy your career and destroy your life. Now, by the way, I'm not saying that that's what Amber did, but we don't know, do we? And it was Well, that's what the jury said. <laughs> that's what the involved. jury in the... Of yeah, course, the, but the judge and the the judge in the UK made a different decision. So I think you could say it was a it was a split decision, but it wasn't my role to get involved. If Amber believed there had been abuse in that relationship, there was a criminal process she could have gone through, and there was a legal process that she could have gone through. I think the problem is I got involved in the carnival of commentary. And actually, it was in a really unwitting way, Megan, because my column wasn't even about Johnny Depp. It was actually about J.K. Rowling. You know, I absolutely love J.K. Rowling now. She's one of my heroes because she stands up for biological sex and she's taken on the woke mob. But at the time, do you remember she was leading the charge in the Me Too movement and saying that all women should be believed? All women should be believed, no matter what. That was oh, J.K. Rowling. I don't Rowling's remember her being position. one of those. She was. But then she didn't sign up to that when it came to Johnny Depp. So I was calling out, actually, my column was about calling out the hypocrisy of J.K. Rowling. Then, unfortunately, and this does happen uh, on newspaper websites, a headline was put on the column that described Johnny Depp as a wife beater. That was never written by me. It didn't appear in the print newspaper. But you can imagine all hell broke loose as a result of that. But I think one of the big issues that we have now, Megan, in, in the culture war is that so often we dig deep into our trenches. We don't take a moment to look back at what we've done and think, actually, was that a mistake? And I guess I've had the time to do that over the past six months. And I've thought a lot about it. And I do think I was wrong to ever get involved. I don't think it was my business. And I think all I did was add extra heartache to what was clearly a very troubled, very toxic relationship. Do I think Johnny Depp is a perfect guy? Absolutely not. I don't think even but he I, would argue that. No, but but I just, I, look, I, I have lots of regrets over that. And I don't think enough journalists talk about uh, their regrets sometimes. So yeah, I was definitely uh. wrong. It's something I wish that I hadn't done, even though I would defend myself and saying, it was very unwitty. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't expecting yeah. to become uh, the guy to go against Johnny Depp at all. Um, but I think now I know that you cannot just trust the word of an ex. 
You can't mm. because some exes, because I now know from personal experience, my ex would was prepared to do anything to destroy me, Megan, anything. Going to the police, making up stories, posting on X. He was prepared to do anything. So I just feel like when relationships like this go wrong, it should be down to law enforcement to make the decision, not social media and not the media itself. So mm. I was definitely wrong on that. Well, Dan, I, I appreciate you saying that. I, I feel the same. I'm constantly looking back at my own positions and asking, how could I do better? What do I know now that would change my opinions? And I really encourage everybody to do that because if, if you just stick with, I'm right today and I've always been right, then if you were wrong yesterday and you're wrong today, you never have any chance of being right tomorrow. You know, that's just the way it is. So self-reflection, introspection, and a lot of humility will go a long way for every human journalist or not in assessing their positions in this crazy world that we find ourselves in. Well, you've been hearing me rave about Cozy Earth for a couple of years now, and for good reason. Talking about how incredibly soft and luxurious their sheets are, I am not alone, of course. They have thousands of customers who have left five-star reviews on their website, including this one from Hallie. Quote, honestly, the best sheets we have ever had. Absolutely a dream to slip into each night. Everyone deserves to splurge on these sheets and you will have no regrets. Cozy Earth sheets available now in 15 awesome colors are made from viscose from bamboo, making them temperature regulating so you will sleep cool and comfy year round. Cozy Earth even offers a 100 night sleep trial. Sleep on them, wash them, try them out. And if you're not completely in love, send them on back in within 100 days for a full refund. Experience life-changing luxury with the world's softest sheets. Go to CozyEarth.com, enter my promo code Megan at checkout to save up to 35% on Cozy Earth's bedding, pajamas, bath towels, loungewear, and more. CozyEarth.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.